So hello and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk about everything crypto related and if that sounds interesting well I suggest you should leave a like comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot and with that being said let's get started also make sure to check out discord and telegram link in the description down as well and guys what a beautiful day uh, not like we talked yesterday about Luna and how awesome it actually is we see the break of a new all-time high the following day. F went up from 50 bucks, no, even b uh, 49 bucks, now to almost 55 bucks. Currently trading at 45, which is kind of insane to yeah say that at least our position is getting bigger and bigger. And we didn't even sell a single Luna since we bought them. And let me tell you, I don't regret anything. Maybe selling my anchor at some point, but overall, anchor we are still receiving some 28 bucks since the last claim, which was yesterday. So it's not too bad, we already got staked a few just in case to get the Nexus airdrop, which is something that you get for free as well if you participate in it. So I like it, I like it a lot. And for Tower of Loki, we are still staking. I actually uh, had put in a bit more LP but didn't stake them so my bad on that part but we are farming with around 100 uh, 1000 $1, dollars and we are getting around one percent daily and we got four claim five T flocky right now at the current price of T flocky mm, one dollar and ten cents it's not too bad at all obviously it went down again from two dollars but I believe in this project also for the longer term because yeah, it was one of the first on uh, Luna and that makes it a bit more, uh, how to say it, important at least. That's like Nexus, that's like Anchor, that's Mirror Protocol. You have those fundamentals in the blockchain which play a big factor if you look at it from the whole perspective. But yeah. Moving over for our Phantom, I need to change my network to Phantom, oh, I am on Phantom but I'm not connected. So for Phantom, we see that Phantom is pumping also, it's back to $3 again. So yeah, we go up again in price which means the farms are going down in price. Our position sadly decreased by 2000 overnight, we only got now around 1000 staked, we sold our rewards the whole time. So we made around $400 from selling, so we about break even on this one I would say, or maybe even in profit, because I, I'm i not sure how much I put in, but I don't think I put over 1000 into the native token, but nevertheless, still not a bad play, I'm continuing to farm because 20% almost daily on 1000 uh, 1, is still 200 bucks and if I can get that for a few days I'm not complaining at all and that's the thing what people don't understand but that's why I always say you know don't buy the token if you're not willing to take the risk because that's always what happens with most of the farms they go down in price and here we saw it beautifully happening if you bought it in the beginning when we first talked about it, which was, e I'm on one minute, okay, I'm on one minute, let's go to the hourly chart and it looks different, yeah, okay, so we're still down a bit, 135, 140, okay, never mind, but yeah, that's the thing, you still can make a lot of profit, but you need to sell at some point, obviously, but we didn't, so that's our fault, if you take profit, yeah, you <laughs> That's what I mean, you just need to take profit, but if you are early, most of the time you are going to make profit with every farm that is not a rock pool. And that's how we have been doing it for most of the time. So for this farm, uh, I'm not even complaining, like that happens from time to time. The next farm hopefully will be better again. And yeah, that's how I always look at it. You know, we can even still make a lot of profit because we didn't sold our initial investment yet. And if the price only is going back to 200 bucks again, we in profit. And we already sold a lot of rewards, so we even up more. And in the end, it would be the same as if we would compound. But in this case, I just took some profits early on the road because 
to be honest, I don't know. I just wanted to get some phantom because I saw the price pushing up, but I actually didn't think of it that it would go that high. But I'm not complaining at all. That phantom went also up. Looking over on Star Tower, um, I don't even know if no, the registration actually got one day, yeah, tw 20 hours basically. Um, and we got 3300, so let's see the leaderboard for the Railcraft. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I'm position 1200, okay. I'm that low at the moment, Jesus Christ. Okay, a lot of people started to stay as it seems like. They got bigger positions, yeah. They definitely got. It was the top 100, now it's only the top 50, which are way craft, which is, yeah, kind of bad, kind of bad. And the worst faction is the one I'm in, which is the Degens. Obviously, we got the least uh, power, so yeah. Big fail joining them. Should have looked at the leaderboard first, but I actually didn't know it. I was picking the DJs because of the name, but yeah, to get that much Star Tower energy is quite a lot. Let me tell you, yeah, that's oh, <laughs> that's 10x the amount we got, so it's around 140,000 to be one of the biggest whales there so it's possible to do it but just remember doing stuff like that is only worth it if you're going to contribute every time 10,000 because if you got 10,000 in this pre-sale uh, god damn you made a lot of profit even though the price currently is only at 57 cents that's still a 5x and if you get a 5x on 10,000 that's 50k and you have 40 thousand profit that's the thing what people don't get but obviously um it's a lot of money that you need to have to be able to participate in that much um yeah with that much tokens uh, also summit there is the expedition going on currently uh i won one which gave me around 200 USDC or so and I participate in this one I 52% chance to win you still can switch uh, but yeah it will be locked 60 seconds before the top of the hour and you will not be able to change anything so you need to choose basically before the, the countdown is over the, the winning side and you will be getting some USDC uh, in the meantime, I'm staking here. I'm not getting anything. So the 2,000 bucks that I'm staking here, I'm not earning any LP. I could take them out right now and put them back into the auto compound on Grim or farm over on the summit. But I'm not doing that simply because uh, the percentage is not that high at the moment. Even I don't maybe understand the farm that well. It's only 2.48%. Obviously, it's not too bad but simply being in the expedition and getting to csdc at the moment would be 1000 so it's also not too bad at all and that's about it for that farm as well for pylon <coughs> that's the wrong link where was the gateway and here it is the orient launch still is going on but yeah you only have uh 21 percent apr which is very low. I actually thought the, uh, they would distribute the rewards a bit faster, but they are not going to do it. The pools went down a bit in percentage, but that's because their world went down as well. But we got here 3,793 already, which is, if we calculate at the current price of 38 cents, $1,400. So that's almost the money we put in back already and i'm thinking about like if luna is continuing with the price simply to take out some loans and instead of putting them into the urn put them into pylon and wait for them to vest around like six months i could even do to get 158 percent apr and you can claim the rewards and basically start to sell right after and pay your money back on anchor 
where you need to pay around uh, 26%, so you can say you're only getting around 125% a year, but that still is doubling your money with borrowed money, you know, that's the trick, you always need to take money that you don't have. If you manage it wide and don't over leverage yourself, everything is working fine. And you can do that very profitable. That's why I'm saying I'm waiting to do so because I think 36% is not risky, but it already is a bit over leveraged. Because if the price would crash to 33 bucks, I needed to take out my money here for my earn. I needed to put it back into the borrow, and my liquidation price would be lowered, obviously. But I hope it doesn't come that far. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. Uh, it was a bit random. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.